A huge thanks to Brian for sponsoring this video. Yo, guys, guys, I'm very sorry for the lack of videos in the last time. I've been busy uh, moving into my new house. We are in the midst of moving at the moment and I've been building all of the furniture for the house in the past couple of months. So I've been busy as frick and I just couldn't keep up with anything anymore. For your information, the advent calendar this year, it's not going to happen as in the previous years. Just not going to happen, way too much work to do, but I'm going to try my best to at least publish a few videos to make it Papa Flemmy's kind of advent calendar. By the way, have you checked out Flemmy's Wood, my second channel? I'm uploading more regularly over there at the moment than here, so check it out because I'm working my wood all day long. So, um, yeah. Check it out, cool videos. And today we are going to do an integral, just a little piece of eye candy for my viewers. It's the golden integral from zero to infinity of one over one plus x to the fa to the fa power. This right here is the golden ratio, fa. I want you guys to remember the golden ratio is the very thing, the very number that satisfies the following polynomial equation, fa squared minus fa minus one is equal to zero. If you plug fa into here, which is one plus the square root of fa over two, you are going to get the solution to this equation. It's going to be important in a bunch of minutes. And I have seen this being solved in various different ways over the year, uh, over the years using the better function and so on, many different things, but it's actually totally pointless to use special functions or shit like that here. It's seriously not what you need to do in order for you to solve this integral. I'm going to show you my method today. It's a very cool one. It's a pretty short one. I hope you're going to enjoy the video and now we are going to dive right in. So the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to introduce a tiny little substitution because this fucker down here is annoying the hell out of me. X to the fast power, who needs that shit? So what we are going to do is we are going to let. Now I'm going to introduce a substitution which doesn't seem very natural at first, but it's going to be pretty much uh, second nature in a second. So let x, our original variable, be equal to t to the one minus fa. Now, how is this right here something that we can make use of? At first, let us implicitly differentiate both sides. That means the x is going to be equal to, um, we are going to track the exponent down, so one minus fa. Then we are going to reduce the exponent by one, so t to the negative fifth power um, dt. Now, if you were to plug this into here, what about our upper and lower bounds? If we plug zero into here, then this is zero to the something power, really doesn't matter. This is going to give us, um, no, I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> Wrong direction. Um, when is t to the one minus five power equal to zero? Now, this is the right way around. Um, Please notice that this right here is a negative power. Fa is something 1.5 approximately. So we have t to the one half power, you could say, just approximately negative one half power at that. Meaning this right here is something one over t. So in order for us to get x being equal to zero, we need t to um, let go to infinity. So the lower bound is infinity. Same argument, when does x go to infinity? Well, when t goes to zero. So we are going to change the upper and lower bounds. Our dx is equal to one minus fa times t to the negative fa power divided by mm, one plus x to the fa. So we need to find out what x to the fa is. Let us raise both sides on our substitution um, by fa. This is going to give us x to the fa is equal to t to the one minus fa and all of this to the fa power. Now by making use of a simple exponent rule, we are going to get that this is t to the fa times one minus fa. Or in other words, if we were to distribute the fa out, we are going to get t to the fa minus fa squared. <laughs> this is where the substitution really kicks in. It does a nice, nice kick in your little tiny nuts. Um, very close to your little tiny dick. That was an insult, by the way. Um, if we take a look at fa squared minus fa, this is the same thing that we got here, only the other way around. If we were to solve this polynomial equation, we are going to get that 
fa squared minus fa is equal to 1. Or if we were to change the order around by multiplying both sides by negative 1, we're going to get that negative fa squared plus fa is equal to negative 1. So this thing that we got up here is equal to negative 1. Or t to the negative 1 of power is nothing other than 1 over t. Hey, that turned out very nicely, right? So if we plug this into here, we are going to get 1 over t to the fa of power. And all of this integrate with respect to t. Now the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to change the upper and lower bounds. This is annoying the fuck out of me with a bigger value at the bottom than at the top. So we are going to track a negative 1 to the outside, turning this into negative 1 um, plus fa, turning those around in the process, giving us, and since this is a constant, we can make use of the linearity of the integral to bring it to the outside too. So this is fa minus 1 times the integral from 0 to infinity. I still got the integral symbol very nice and spicy, pretty fucking knorky if you ask me. So 0 to infinity. Then we are going to get t to the negative fa, or in other words, t to the negative fa is the same as 1 over t to the fa divided by um, 1 plus 1 over t to the far dt. Now, I have rewritten it in this form just because we can make use of just a simple property of multiplication of fractions that we can bring the 1 over t to the denominator or 1 over t to the fourth power. So bringing this down here leaves us with this very expression. Now they both have the same exponent, meaning we can rewrite all of this as being um, far minus 1 times the integral from 0 to infinity, um, dt divided by, and now we are going to get t times 1 plus 1 over t, and all of this to the far. And now the cool thing about that is that we can just distribute the t into here, giving us overall a pretty much final expression of far minus 1 times the integral from 0 to infinity of dt divided by t plus t divided by t is 1 to the fourth power. And this is one that is very easy to solve. One more substitution and it all falls apart. Let our denominator part without the far be equal to, um, I don't know, let t plus 1 be equal to capital sigma just to annoy the shit out of everyone. Now if you were to implicitly differentiate both sides, we're going to get the t is equal to d sigma balls. Now, what about the upper and lower bounds that we are going to get respectively? So this is far minus 1 times the integral from, if we plug 0 into here, then sigma is equal to 1. And if we plug infinity into t, you could say, use the limit, we are going to get infinity up here. And this is going to be the sigma divided by um, sigma to the fourth power. And well, all that we need to do now is since this is 1 over, so this part right here, is um, 1 over sigma to the fourth power. So this is just um, sigma to the negative far. If you were to integrate this, this is just a simple polynomial, you could say. What we are going to get is, so we have this first part, far minus 1. Then we are going to increase the exponent by 1. So this is going to give us far to the uh, 1 plus uh, minus fa, and also we are going to divide um, the whole expression by 1 minus fa. Okay, and all of this evaluate from 1 to infinity. Now, once again, please note that this sigma to the 1 minus fa is roughly 1 over sigma to the oh, dot fa. So, so something 1 over sigma. Now, what happens if we take the limit as um, sigma approaches affinity? then this is 1 over infinity, which goes to 0 overall. Okay, so the only thing that's really left is, so we are going to get fa minus 1 divided by 1 minus fa, and then we are going to have 1 to the 1 minus fa. Obviously, this right here, and don't forget, this is the second part of integration, we are going to get a negative sign. This right here is just negative 1 overall, meaning if we were to multiply the numerator, for example, by this very negative 1, we are going to get um, 1 minus fa divided by 1 minus fa, which is nothing other than 1. And that's a pretty uneventful result, if I may say so myself. But I hope you did enjoy this video and I hope you were able to figure it out on your own. And if you want to see more integrals, if you are a sucker for calculus, analysis and all of this cool stuff that we did here today and even more mathematics, then our today's sponsor, Brian, might be the perfect fit for you.
You know, one thing that I really love about integrals is that the basic concept is pretty easy to understand what integrals revolve around it. Let me explain for a second. So what is an integral exactly? If I were to explain it to 12 year students, I would say that it's just the addition of infinitely many little rectangles, giving us overall in the limit, um, if they learned the notion of limit already, that is, um, just the area under a curve. And this is exactly what a Riemann integral in and of itself is. And this is nicely visualized over on Brilliant, for example. You can use Brilliant as a source, if you are a teacher like me, or just someone who wants to learn something new in the STEM field, to get a better hang of the core concepts of, for example, calculus when it comes to integration, differentiation, and all those things. All of the stuff visualized over there in their nearly 70 interactive courses in all topics STEM, be it the mathematics that we did today, physics, computer sciences, no matter what it is you want to learn in the STEM field, Brilliant definitely got something up the sleeve for you. And it really doesn't stop there. It's not only the visualizations that are really cool to understand new topics that you want to learn something about. It's also their course concept in and of itself. You start off slowly with a bunch of definitions, for example, in the group theory courses. And those definitions will help you solve a bunch of small exercises, but those get gradually harder over time. It's, it's a pretty steep learning curve once you realize what you have done already, how much things you went through over on their courses, but you don't even realize while going through their courses that it was such a steep learning curve. It just becomes second nature with the help of their great visualizations and graphics, the things that you can play around with using your own two hands. And if this sounds like it's something for you, if I sparked your curiosity today, then why not make sure to check out the link at the top of the description, print.org slash maths. With it, you are going to get free access to a big portion of print already. Get over there, try it out, use the link and see for yourself if it's something for you. And if you think then, yeah, that is pretty damn cool. Then why not make sure to use the link in its entirety and get 20% off an annual premium subscription. It's a great deal considering how much content they already have available on the website and how much content they are adding on a regular basis. So you are virtually never going to run out of courses over on their website. They take pretty long to go through and they are adding new stuff on a regular basis. So it's totally worth the money to spend on Brilliant if you're a curious person like me and just want to learn something on a regular basis and also in your free time, maybe something new. So definitely make sure to check it out and support the channel as well. And I thank you guys for watching and I hope you did enjoy this video. It feels kind of good to do a video after a few weeks once again. Um, I feel pretty fucking enthusiastic at the moment and I could um, film another one, but I haven't one planned. So I need to figure that out. But other than that, it was fun filming this video. I really like this integral and I hope you did so too. And I'm until the next video. I wish you guys a flamble day. See ya.